Hey, Cedric here. Primal Punch here. Got, uh, oh, let me go ahead and put this back and just make sure everything's still in frame. Alright, yeah, we're looking okay. So, I'm here today because I'm pretty excited. I scored some steel and, uh, wanted to show you what I got. I got some hot rolled. 516 steel and cold rolled 516 steel. Now the cold rolled is harder to bend than the batch of red nails that I got from Iron Mine. So I'm really stoked about that. The crush is just insane on this uh, this cold rolled. So found my uh, my caliper. Need to check for that. Had a battery die on me. I also wanted to share some uh, things I've been doing to work on grip and wrist because I've been too beat from working on the property to really exercise uh, like I like I really like to. So what I've done is begun incorporating. Uh, grip work into the work I've been doing around here. Like I've been clearing these caltrop, uh, these puncture vines, it's in the caltrop family. And it leaves these little deals and some of them are like this big, man, the size of marbles with big old spines on them. So, and uh, what these caltrops are is no matter how they land, they got a pointy part up. They kill your bike tires, uh, your dog's feet, they stick to your shoes, you track them in, your wife steps on them, hates you. Lots of bad things. They're diabolical, man. So I have cleared 0.81 of an acre of those darn things. And because the ground is so rocky, and you have to get the root. If you don't get the root, it comes right back. Had to get the root. So, using my two and a half pound pickaxe here. And what I've been doing is I lever it up and I do it one-handed and I carry my bucket in the other hand and I keep track of the reps and, and I switch hands bring it up drop it down okay and as I get tired because this is just you know thousands of repetitions as I get tired I move my grip up for the lever bring it up and then drop it down in and my weed whacker hold on let me get her started there it is. I'm doing this one-handed, and that works my wrist this way, where the pick is working her this way, okay? And swinging it one-handed, dropping her down, and a back swing, all right? Keeping track, switching hands. So that's been, been something I've been doing around here, a little bit of extra, all right? So I've done a little bit of warm-up. I'm going to show you the steel I got. We're going to do a little bit of bending. And we're also going to talk about visual differences as well as um, structural strength differences between the hot roll and cold roll. So, real quick, I'm going to bring you over and show you what we're looking at here. All right. Generally speaking, the differences, the visual difference between here, let me put the red nails with the red nails. The visual difference between hot rolled and cold rolled steel is this. See the shininess? Cold rolled steel is rolled out cold. Hot rolled steel has mill scale on it. You see this black stuff? You see the difference where I beveled the end and, and the mill scale. That black is called mill scale and it comes from heat. So there's your visual difference. Now, I believe that because heat is used in the hot rolled steel, <clears throat> it's left in that softest state, okay, as soft as steel can be. When you temper steel, if you temper it to blue, then when uh, it, it's as soft, pretty much as soft as it can be, alright? Cold rolled steel is much more difficult to bend than hot rolled steel. 
and we'll look at that. We'll see how that looks here in a moment. All right. Um, well, we'll just jump right into it. Let me see here. I've done a little bit of warm up. I've got these iron mine pads from the uh, first day I got this. I cut some steel and had to try her out. So this is single wraps, five sixteenths inch hot rolled steel. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's just go to fractions. Zero it out. Okay, so we've got your five sixteenths showing up. It's five sixteenths steel, single wraps. And just for like uh, comparison, I'm not able to bend a red nail in single wraps yet. Or I can't kink it. But the hot rolled steel, I can. Now we're going to look at uh, how this looks on the bend compared to the uh, cold rolled steel as well. All right. <clears throat> Look at that loopy bend. It doesn't have that tight bend of, of, a, of a, better, or a better steel or a differently treated steel. I don't have any bent ones here. Oh, well you can look at I've been hanging all my bends on the fence. So what I'll go ahead and do, look that mill scale. I'm gonna have to wire brush that or something. Here, see if you can see where the mill scale has come off. See it there? And you got that dull gray rather than that, that beautiful shiny look. Yeah. So I'm going to bend one more. This is part of my warm-up. I always bend two easy ones before I go into anything hard. Once the weather cools, I'm going to be doing a doing my one of my biannual charity runs, y'all. This one I'll be doing for some some uh, something. Figure it out. I want to try these double underhand. So then we have the cold rolled steel, okay? Same, same size. This is mine. And on zero, five sixteenths. Now here, this time I really will speed it up for the, the wrapping, okay? Wrapping the steel. Alright, that's how the kids are doing it nowadays. I'll be using Iron Mind. 
iron mine pads over iron mine pads. I've been using the leathers, but I'm going to go ahead and try to uh, to bend these just in double iron mines. The leather gives you a little more support, so let's uh, let's try this. Let's do this. Okay, so you've seen me bend red nails in iron mine under my uh, my leather, and these are, if I remember correctly, one and a half millimeters. Yeah, one point three four, one point three four millimeters. Now, even though they <coughs> don't wrap up as as thick as iron mine pads, they give uh, a little more support to your bend. Oh, maybe they're about the same as far as the size of the roll. But so doing her in double iron mines rather than leather over iron mine would be just a little uh. 
a little different. And again, I've already bent one of these, and it was more difficult than the red nail. <coughs> That's one of mine. Here's a red nail from Iron Mind. Damn, they're really beating my ass. Zeroed. Zeroed out. Red nail from Iron Mind. Oh. Fractions. Five sixteenths. Red nail. Cold rolled steel. I'll just slap it right in the same damn wraps. So I still haven't bent uh, a red nail in double iron mines. Might be my hands are too beat as well. So I've had two days straight of working that pick, that pickaxe. It may be that I need to let my hands rest. Because if your hands ain't rested, you can't bring your other muscles to bear in uh, in steel bending. You just can't.
Yeah, it's my hands. Should have skipped today, but I wanted to get a video up. I'm stoked about this steel. And I'll be selling some of it on my website in little bundles. Oh, before I burn up on my crush. I'm going to go ahead, go back to my steel, see if we can throw a kink in this. Now let's throw another red nail in, okay? Because I really want to see. The red nail is easier on the kink, for sure. Oh man, plus I wove that 36 inch cane yesterday. That's why my hands are so damn beat. On top of the land clearing and everything else. I'll put that red nail back in.
Yep. I should have not. I should have skipped it today. So this is the damage we were able to do today. The two red nails and my 516s cold rolled. It's definitely, uh, definitely harder than the red nails. Definitely. Here we got more hot rolled 516s, and it's just way easier. This is a little six inch piece here. I cut them six and sevens. I'll walk you over to the fence and show you uh, show you what I've been up to with the pieces that I've been. I think it's kind of cool, like personally. But you know, I'm kind of a nerd. The mill scale just ping, pops off of there. I'm gonna have to take a couple, three days off bending after this. Let my hands and wrists come back. Five sixteenths hot roll steel. Wow. <sighs> 
Y'all can see I've gotten flabby and rubbery since my injury, and spinal injury, and surgery. I'm getting stronger every day, though. Give that red nail one more hit just for just for the love of Pete. one of the biggest things I've noticed is my uh, loss of crush strength since I haven't been working with heavy weights I haven't bench pressed since I don't know when back before my injury I believe I don't think I did any uh, even after I got off you know got off bed rest and everything That's the biggest difference, that, that crush strength is just gone. Oh yeah. Inch and a half on the red nail. So I managed to make a comeback on that little bastard. Well, it's not a bastard, is it? Able to get that hot roll down to an inch or so. That's red nail from Iron Mind. It's another red nail. 
this is uh, sort of like I've been been hatching a, a plan about how to um, make some progress on being able to bend in single wraps and my thoughts are if I start out by kinking the red nail in doubles and then taking the, the top wraps off and trying to finish the sweep and the crush in singles that's some progress right? well I mean I'm not asking that's a rhetorical question because it is that would be progress instead of taking it as far as I can in the double wraps until like my hands are touching you know and then unwrap them. <laughs> when you're hitting it and you're like it's not going to go, it's not going to go and then it goes a little. Huh? might be all she wrote. The crush is gone, baby. The crush is gone. <laughs> nope. That's all she wrote. It's a six inch piece of the hot roll 5 sixteenths You know that smell that comes off the iron mine nails when you bend them? You get that off this hot roll, but not the cold roll. Ooh, uneven bend on the six incher. inch and a quarter on that six inch so now I've got two of my cold roll steels that I've kinked because when I first got them like I said I did some bending and immediately figured out that it is just way harder to bend than the red nails which makes me happy because if I can get to the point where I can bend my steel my steel in single wraps then I can definitely bend red nails because you know I have a finite amount of those of course I've got maybe six left so I need to save some. 
but I also, like right now, I need to know how they rate up against my Cold World Steel. Try another double one in your hand. This is seven inch lengths of the hot hot rolled five sixteenths inch. close my eyes because that mill scale comes off there. <laughs> Definitely going to wire brush these. But that mill scale helps keep it from rusting too. is maybe about as hard as a good cold rolled quarter inch square. Maybe a little bit harder, this uh, hot roll 5 sixteenths. It's definitely a good stepping stone around in that same neighborhood of the, the square bar. get that one very far down but it's down at an inch a little less Try another shorter length, another six incher.
there's this rabbit. And I swear, it's like Bugs Bunny with the coyote. How I was teasing my two dogs. This this fence, I mean, it has huge gaps under it. That that all about fencing did. Oh, don't even get me started. Anyway, yeah, I've been slowly working my way around, putting stones to fill in the gaps. But this rabbit just comes and goes as it pleases. And <laughs> my dogs, <laughs> they just don't even know what to do. They sniff the spot where the rabbit goes through the fence, you know, under, and then pee on it, and then come over like all strutting. It's hilarious. Was driving them nuts. This is about a six and a half incher oddball. All I got left are six inches. I gotta cut more steel. Cut and grind it. I bevel the ends. So if you do, I'll be selling it for exactly what it cost me. Well, plus shipping. But that'll give you guys a deal too. It'd be cheaper than getting it from Iron Mind. Cheaper than getting it from Home Depot too. One more six incher. That's all that five sixteenths hot roll. Once I finish this one, we'll go over and hang them on the fence with the rest. These are just ones that I've bent since living here. I mean, I've got some more that I have yet to hang up. I just keep forgetting that they're in there. It's a way to put my energy into the property, you know. Good workout. Let's look at what kind of damage we did here. 